Hey guys, it's Bowsy Wowsy, and today we are doing a tutorial on this alligator. Uh, I know I've been gone for a while and I haven't uploaded any videos, and that's just kind of the way I work sometimes. But I did want to thank you guys for all your super nice comments and asking me when I'm posting again. It really does keep me like motivated to keep making stuff for you guys. So here's what I have for today. Just wanted to give you a quick little overview. This definitely was designed before a bunch of new blocks have come out and whatnot, but I think he looks really great. So let me go ahead and show you what you're going to need. You're going to need 195 green terracotta, 71 lime terracotta, 13 stone buttons, 12 iron bars, 12 birch planks, 12 smooth stone slabs, um, not one pressure plate. You need more than one, but I, uh, must have forgotten to get the exact number. Um, eight birch stairs, five birch slabs, four pointed dripstone, two flower pots, one green carpet, and one block of coal. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the snout here. I've given you a um, the counting of the blocks. So the very tip of the snout is going to start here and you're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, and then place your first green terracotta. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and delete that. Go ahead and place your two flower pots here, two pointed dripstone there. Go ahead and grab your lime, and we're gonna go across like this. We're gonna take our green and across here, we're also gonna bring this down one and come back um, forward, one here. Go ahead and take your pointed dripstone here and there. Okay, we've placed out all of our teeth. Let's move around to the back here. We are facing the front. We're gonna go ahead and add another line of lime. Take this block out and replace that with green. Okay, go ahead and take your lime again. Come back down this way. And on top of that, you're gonna go green again. Okay, this is what it should be looking like. And from the bottom, this is what you should be seeing. Okay, we're gonna grab our green next. We're gonna come up at the back here and we're going to make um, green like this in a two by three and then go ahead and bring it up one more like that. On dropping down to the bottom here, a lime right there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and come up a little bit here and we're going to, at the lime, bring this out by three like this and go ahead and bring him up until the last block here. We're gonna go ahead and take our stairs and we're gonna flip them upside down like this. Our coal goes here on top of that, our carpet, and then green again here and here. This has created our eyes, okay? And we have the black in there for the pupil. If you wanted to, you could add some sort of glowy block so the eyes glow at night if you'd like. Go ahead and grab your birch slab and right here underneath this green, we're gonna go ahead and place a birch slab like that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna keep working on that head coming out towards the shoulders. You're gonna go ahead and take green and cover this up, bring it down by one, okay? We're gonna come here and we're gonna place a helper block here and then a block there underneath this another green block. Go ahead and remove that helper. Same thing on the other side and remove that helper block. We're gonna move on to the bottom here and we're gonna work on the belly just a tad. So we're gonna go to the front. We're gonna face the back. Okay, you're gonna place a helper block right here and upside down stair like this and then a slab on this side and a slab on that side. Okay, that's what that should be looking like there. Go ahead and remove that helper block. And since I work in sections, we're gonna go ahead and start on the toes. Um, we do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and use some helper blocks here. Okay, we're gonna place a block here and I think we'll just use um, lime green. So from here, we're gonna go one lime green, one birch. Okay, we're gonna go down a lime green, one birch, a lime green, and a birch. Okay, so this is what your math should be looking like. Over two from this last block right here and down two, three, four, and five. And then right here at the front of this birch block, you're going to place the first little nail. Okay, same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna place a helper block right there, the lime, okay, birch, lime, birch, lime, birch, and in front of that, we've got our first nail. Okay, you can remove all of those 
little blocks that just help you keep track of what you're doing. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take our lime. We're gonna work a little bit right here. And we're gonna do lime like this. Right here, we're gonna pull out one lime here, one lime there. On top of each of those limes, you're gonna go ahead and play, place a pressure plate. Underneath the limes, you're gonna go green here and green there. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a green here, a green here, and then we're gonna take two stone slabs on either side to create that paw, okay? We're gonna move on over here from the back and we're gonna work on the belly here. So go ahead and move to the front, looking towards the back. And we're going to add a helper block here for an upside down stair. And we're going to add a helper block here for an upside down stair and then a full block in between that. Okay, and we can remove those two lime greens. The reason I'm keeping it empty on the inside is that if you wanna add a little secret storage, whatever, you can do something with the inside of the alligator once you finish. Okay, let's go ahead and move over to the paws and we're gonna place a lime here, a lime on the other side, and then we're gonna take our green and we're gonna come in one like this. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the sides here. We're gonna build these sides out a little bit. We're gonna place a green here, a lime here, and down one, we're gonna place another green. Here, we're gonna go across one, two, three, and we moved over to the other side. I'm gonna place a green, a lime under it, and then another green like this. Okay, here, go ahead and come in like this with your green, and we're gonna go ahead and place a helper block here, and we're gonna come down with a stair like this, and remove that helper block. From there, let's go ahead and start connecting these legs up to the body. So should be looking like this right here next to this green. You're gonna go ahead and place a another green on top of that a lime, and on top of that a green. Okay, right here next to this lime, another green like this. Okay, that's what that should be looking like. Let's move over to the other side and do the exact same thing. Okay, so next to this green, a green there, lime, green, and next to this lime going in, we have another green. Go ahead and take a button and you can place one here and directly opposite one there. Okay, let's work on this piece right here. We're gonna go ahead and place a block here and a block there and we're gonna kinda make this U shape. Okay, that's what that should be looking like. A pressure plate here and a pressure plate there. So looking at the belly here, we have this stair that we've placed. What you're gonna go ahead and do is come over to the black, to the back, place a block there, a slab here, and a slab there next to it. Okay, let's go ahead and add a green here and a green there to kind of close this part up. And then we're gonna take our lime and we're gonna work on the next slice, okay? So let's look at it from this side here. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is diagonal to this block. We're gonna place a dark green here and a lime coming up. You're gonna leave a space right here and then a lime like that. You can place a helper block here for a lime like this, but remember to go ahead and leave this space. All right, let's copy the same thing over on the other side. We're gonna go on the diagonal, green, lime. We're gonna leave that space and we're gonna go up a line here and a line there. Remember to remove this helper block. Okay, next we're gonna take our green and we are going to come out one like this with the green directly underneath that. We have three lime like this, okay? So quick overview, we have on the diagonal and same thing on the other side. Let's finish off this belly here with some blocks. And we're gonna take one, two, three full blocks like that. At the back right here, across these three lines, you're gonna go ahead and place three green like this, and then extend out all of these pieces with green like that. Okay, you're gonna take your pressure plates, a pressure plate here and here, and a button here. Oh, we wanna place it the other way. A button here and here. All right, 
I'm going to go ahead and take our birch and we're just going to extend that out just a little bit right there. Okay, let's look from the top here. We're going to go ahead and take our green and we're going to extend this out again. So this is going to be two greens next to each other like that. Okay, see that? You can go ahead and take a button, place it right there and extend, pull your birch out again. Okay, let's take our lime and we're going to extend all around like this. And it is going to be a little bit different for a birch down here. We're going to do a stair here, a stair there, and a full block in between them. Okay, that's what that should be looking like there. And then we're going to take our green again. We're going to extend this piece out. Instead of coming only filling that, we're going to come down to like this. We're going to place a line here. Oh, my bad, a line here in front of the stair, a line there, and a green here. Okay, this is what it should be looking like. We're gonna go ahead and take our line. We're gonna come up over here, and we're gonna place one, two, three, like this. We're gonna go ahead and place a button on this green and a pressure plate on that line. Take your green, one green here, and one green there, a button on each of those. Remember to be in the right position to place them. Okay, we're gonna place a helper block right here. We'll use birch on this piece and on that piece because we're going to extend it out by one green on each side. Okay, and then a green down here, and we could go ahead and pull it all the way across until it connects. That's what that should be looking like right there. And extend this green right here. Go ahead and take your birch and we're going to place some helper blocks like this and we're going to place a green here and here with pressure plates on top of those. Man, I am just slurring my words today. Pressure plate. <laughs> okay, two limes next to those greens like that. A lime here and a lime there. Okay, and then what you can do is go ahead and connect your green all the way across, okay? That's what that should be looking like, like that. And from the top, this is what you should be seeing. Let's go ahead and work on the next slice. Pull it out one like this. We're gonna go one, two, three here and down one on each side for a little U shape. Okay, one, two, three, down here and down there for that little U shape, okay? Up at the top, we're gonna to place a button here and here. Let's keep working at the bottom. We have a line here and here, and a line here and here. Let's go ahead and connect it across with green, and a green at this edge, and a green little foot right there. This is what the shape should be looking like. You can delete these pieces here if you want a little bit more space, but I just like making that U shape. It's easy to copy over. All right, we're gonna get a little bit more complicated here, but I'm gonna try and keep it super simple. Right here on the block behind our, the ones with the buttons, we're gonna place a green and just pull it across three like this, down one on each side for that U shape, and go ahead and bring him across for two here, okay? Extend that little wing on the other side there, and we have two here. In the middle right here, we're gonna come down two as well. Okay, same thing on this other side, two right there. That's what your shape should be looking like. Let's close that off with a block here. Go ahead and take your lime, and on the diagonal right here, we're gonna place one, two, lime. And on the same, on the other side, the same thing. So this is what your shape should be looking like. Super easy. Next, we're gonna go ahead and place a lime here here and here, okay? Go ahead and extend out your green like this. We're gonna come over to this leg here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a lime right there, a green here, and two green up like that. Same thing on the other side where we have that little hole, a lime there, a green here, and two green up like that. This is what it should be looking like. Let's go ahead and take our green and we're gonna extend this back. We're starting to form the tail 
on this green piece. Go ahead and place a iron bar right there. We're going to take our green and we're going to come across one, two, three like this. And same thing on the other side, one, two, three like that. We can go ahead and place a nail here for your stone slab and a nail there. Okay, this is what it should be looking like. All right, let's go ahead and take a button and finish off this little last button right there behind that green. Okay, we're going to come back down and we're going to work on these legs a little bit more. You're going to take your green and right here in the middle of that three we just placed, you're going to go one, two, three like this, and then a nail on the end of that right there. Okay, and a pressure plate on this first green right here. Same thing on the other side. We go to the middle, one, two, three like that a stone slab there, and a pressure plate on that first one. Let's go ahead and work on the tail here for a second. We're gonna take our green, we're gonna come out one, and we're gonna go in one, and we're also gonna pull this one out like that. Okay, this is what your tail should be looking like right there. Go ahead and take your lime, and we're gonna add a line here, a line there, and a green on the bottom underneath that. We go ahead and place a iron bar on top of that. To finish up the legs here, we're just gonna add in this last little nail right here and right there to form three like this. Let's go ahead and come back to the tail, take our green, and we're just gonna create a two by two square like this. On this side of the square, we're gonna go up one, two, over one. Go ahead and place a spike right here. Take your lime and we're gonna come out two and we're gonna create with green on the bottom here another little two by two box, okay? With green, we're gonna come out like this in a little um, three block shape, missing that little corner and a spike on top of this. From there, go ahead and grab your green. We're gonna go up one, two like this and a lime here that you've placed that line block, go ahead and take your green and we're gonna place one green here, another extending it out, a lime, and then a green like this. Go ahead and take a spike and place it right here on that green. Okay, what we're gonna come and do is we're gonna extend this out right here by one, this out by one, and this out by one to form this little shape right here. Next, you're gonna take your green, we're gonna come green lime on this other side of the lime right here you're going to place a green and a green like this let's go ahead and take our iron bars and place a bar here and a bar here for the tip of the tail you're going to go one two iron bars on this side you're going to go one out and then one back this way okay and that's what the tip of your tail should be looking like that is your alligator complete so just give you guys a quick little overview, looks super fun, and you can build an entrance into that belly from wherever you'd like. But this is about how much space you have in here, which actually isn't too bad. You could put a bunch of chests in there. But anyway, let me go ahead and close that up. Thank you everybody for watching, and I should hopefully be putting some more stuff out as well. That mana ray should be next. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.